Good morning, Valley, and welcome to a brand new week. Today on Valley Por Vida, we are talking about all, uh, all things about how you can donate blood with the help of our friends at the American Red Cross. We're also introducing you to an RGV author who wrote an interactive children's book to help promote the importance of exercise in the fight against diabetes. We've got a look at how one student at Harlingen High School South is excited for graduation this year. Plus, we're breaking down fun topics that you can observe all day long in the National Days calendar. There is so much going on, so don't go anywhere. Valley Por Vida starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us this morning. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, one RGV author lost his siblings to diabetes, and now he's written a children's book to help encourage Valley kids to eat healthy and stay active through daily exercise. We visited with him to learn more about his unique storyline and how it can help your children live a happy, healthy life. Take a look. Good morning, everyone. My name is David Nort, and I'm here to tell you about the only interactive children's book around called The Adventures of Exo and Psy. Now this book is a really interesting book because you actually get an exercise workout as you read the book, so it's very interactive. This book started after I lost my brother and sister to diabetes and I was driving around and, and I, I got inspired to, to write this book called The Adventures of Exo and Psy, a play on the word exercise. The Exo and Psy, they live in a town called OB City or OB City and where the mayor is Diane Beatties or Diabetes. And in this first book, she's sending out her henchmen, Chip and Nacho, who represent potato chips, to steal everybody's healthy snacks. But that is until Exo and Sai have something to say about it. And the adventure begins, and we start doing all these wonderful exercises and try to stop Chip and Nacho from stealing everyone's healthy snacks. So this book, is a wonderful opportunity for families to get together, not only read, which is very important, literacy is very important, but also exercise, which again is also very important. So you're, you're working the mind and you're working the body. As you read, there's gonna be different ex exercises. So you're gonna have to get up, move around, jump around, run around. And then, you know, with, with COVID and everything, the importance of, of being healthy and eating right and exercise, it, it's so important right now. And along with this book, there's a, there's a second book coming out called the Adventures of Arrow, which is a little girl, and her cat, Bix. So it's the adventures of Arrow and Bix, or Aerobics. And this is going to be the first book in a seven book series where the, we're going to follow at, um, Exo and Sai and Arrow and Bix in their adventures in OB City until they finally get to stop Mayor Diane Beatties from, from ruining and ma making OB City into the unhealthiest place around. Now, this also incorporates something that I call Fitlit, a combination of fitness and literature. And hopefully we can get these books onto your local parks where families can go around, they read the book and they do the exercises together. You're spending quality time with the family, you're exercising, you're reading, you're working your body, you're working your mind and you're having a great time. So you can pick up this book at davidnorick.com. That's D-A-V-I-D-N-O-R-E-C.com. There are a multitude of free material there on, you, in fact, you can get the free ebook on that website. If you want a physical copy, you can order it as well. And we can work together to change things around, to change the culture of the Rio Grande Valley, especially. This is a, an awesome way, a fun way just to, to, to be together as a family. And I look forward to putting more books forward to, uh, for you guys. And I hope we have an awesome time, spending time together, reading, exercising, and having a great time. So RGV, are you ready to exercise? Again, the book is aimed at educating young readers about the perils of obesity and diabetes while providing them a one-of-a-kind exercise workout experience through literature. If you'd like to get your hands on a copy for your kiddo, then feel free to visit the website on your screen. Well, there's always a topic or theme to be celebrated, and according to the National Days calendar, today is no different. Let's go ahead and take a look at some right now. Well, 
Well, Monday, April the 5th, it marks National Deep Dish Pizza Day, National Flash Drive Day, National Nebraska Day, and National Rita Road Map Day. This is your chance to enjoy a delicious deep dish pizza for lunch or dinner today or tomorrow. And of course, this is your opportunity to back up and save the files on your laptop or your desktop computer in the event of a digital emergency. And while we may not use USB flash drives as much as these days, uh, it always helps to have one handy. Today is also a good day to take a moment and appreciate all the great things of the of the state of Nebraska and what it has to offer. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, take appreciation for any fun facts like it was once known as the Great American Desert. And lastly, today is a great day to put aside the car or phone GPS and consider trying your hand at a paper roadmap. After all, you never know when technology will fail, so it's a good idea to learn uh, other means of navigation. Be sure to stick with our team for more on the National Day's calendar throughout the week. Well, fire and security alarms could help you uh, secure your home or your work office and keep it safe. Uh, and regular maintenance is uh, for these devices is just as important as initial installation. Your protection is, of course, a priority. So our team dropped by one business in Santa Rosa that has some helpful information to keep in mind when regarding safety and security. Check it out. My name is Hernando Gonzalez Jr. Uh, we are at RGB Fire Safety Security. During this time, uh, there's a lot of issues with uh, heaters. Uh, fire, firefighters always tell us that uh, number one causes of fires are heaters, portable heaters. So um, early detection, make sure that you have a, a system that actually reports to our central station, gets that information to our local fire department and police departments to get um, help immediately, smoke detectors, CO2 detectors, and things like that. So a lot of the, the security systems now are, are on your phone. Um, you can actually see when your packages are at home and, and people that are trying to steal them, you can actually see all of that information on, on your phones as well. Um, a lot of the times, Surveillance is a little bit more out, uh, overlooked and people just want security, but surveillance is a lot more uh, comes into place because it's more not just to see who stole that package, but in case there's an incident, uh, whether it's at your business or at your property, uh, you want to be able to have video evidence to prove uh, that you did your due diligence to uh, help eliminate or prevent that incident. Well, in, in homes, it's really important to remember to uh, change your batteries once a year in October, usually that's when uh, that happens and they advocated that a lot. But uh, regular testing of your systems, make, make sure that, that every single window and door is being tested. We've encountered many uh, competitors that fail to properly secure or cover a window or a door and that leaves our customers or their customers uh, vulnerable. And with us, we try to make sure that every single uh, entry, entry point is protected from anybody entering uh, yeah, un unlawfully. Keeping your fire extinguishers up to date with regular inspections is one thing that you need to do uh, to make sure that you have something that's gonna work. Um, there's a lot of times that people don't have it checked and when they need it, it's not gonna work. So we have different extinguishers for vehicles, for kitchen, for homes. Uh, we have combustibles, all kinds of different uh, things that we have uh, to protect you. In households, it's very important to plan ahead. Always plan a, uh, um, a plan of egress a meeting point outside the home. Uh, it's very important to do that with uh, younger children because in case of a fire, you need to be able to get out and go to that meeting point and make sure that everybody is accounted for. Um, if you have a security system, the security system alone will detect, if you have smoke detectors, it will detect that smoke, that fire, and report it to our uh, central station, which will turn, in turn, you know, roll the fire department out to you. But getting everybody out is our primary goal. So we're here for the community. Uh, anybody that has any questions, uh, can feel free to give us a call, RGB Fire Safety Security. 
There you have it. Fire and security systems can indeed help keep your families and employees safe. And if you need more information on more fire and security safety tips, then feel free to visit their website. Well, the World Axe Throwing League is in search of the best axe throwers and several Rio Grande Valley participants are joining the competition this year. Our team dropped by their McAllen location to check out the scene. Kicking axes was a, a very cool concept from the very beginning. You know, it's very popular uh, up north, originated in Canada, but now it's slowly trickling its way down south. And I thought that was really cool when Mark brought it up. Uh, it was a, it was at first I was kind of like, well, I mean, I don't know. It's a little, it's a little different from what we're used to. But you know, we did our research. We went up there. We checked it out, and we absolutely loved it. And we kind of were like, you know what? We want to do our own thing, build it from the ground up because, uh, you know, being that we're all vets and first responders, we want to be able to give back. That was one of the big things. So if we franchise with a big company, we, we weren't going to be able to do that. So that was one of the cool things that I thought, like, hey, this is, this is something that a lot of vets, first responders, anybody in general is really going to get behind, you know, and support us. So definitely we, we totally thought that was a really, really cool concept from the very beginning. <laughs> So we've, we've had a lot of them. We've had date night, we've had bachelor, bachelorette parties, we've had uh, an actual wedding reception here. Uh, we've had quarterly meetings from different uh, local venues and businesses down here. Uh, one of the exciting things is that we're gonna be starting leagues starting January. So that WATL, that stands for World Axe Throwing League. We are World Axe Throwing League affiliates here, so we can host our own competitions, our own tournaments and stuff like that. And we're hoping, you know, hopefully we find the, the best axe throwers down here and, and possibly send them up to an actual world axe throwing competition one of these days. That's, that'd be very cool in our future. So the way it works, it's, uh, it's uh, three rounds, okay, and you have uh, basically ten throws per round. And you can do solo matches, which is you're basically a point system on your individual person or they have a, a four-man team, so basically a team of four and another team of four competing for that top seed. And then it's uh, seven weeks of this uh, league competition, and then that eighth week is when we have our final tournament with a championship and stuff for our, our local ones down here. So we're looking at, hopefully we do a few of those leagues, you know, we see some, some good axe throwers and we see some repetitive winners and stuff, and we love to sponsor them to like an actual big championship up north, so. So we do have a, we do have a mobile trailer coming up, so that's gonna be, you know, you can rent it out for your parties, wedding parties, uh, business events, stuff like that, or even just to have there in the neighborhood, you know, we, we have had a lot of people asking about it, and it is in the works, and we're hopefully, hopefully gonna have it ready by next year to be rented out. Uh, it's one of those that we can, it's, it's in a, it's a legit trailer and it's gonna have two targets like this and we're gonna pull it around wherever, we're gonna meet you where you guys want us to meet at. The Rio Grande Valley is excited to show support for RGB contestants who participate in the World Axe Throwing League competition. And even if you're not an axe athlete, you can still give it a go at the Bullseye. Go ahead and visit their McAllen location to book your round today. Well, it's time now to take a commercial break, and then we've got to look at your local weather updates. But stay tuned because Valley Por Vida will be back. And we're showing you how you can adopt a furry friend to become a part of your family. That info and more coming up. <laughs> 